Yo, yo, what's good, everybody? It's your boy, Kemet High, and I'm here today with the legendary, one of the best beat curators in the game, past tense, present tense, future tense, Sunny Digital. What's the word? Yo, what up, what up? How you doing, bro? I'm good, man. I can't call it. How you living? How you feeling? I'm good. I really just um got up not too long ago. I, had a, I was in the studio for, I was in the studio last night for a minute, so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel it. You in chef up mode for real. I was gonna ask too, like, what's the day to day look like for you right now? You know, we halfway through twenty twenty two, so yeah. What you what you been on? Well, actually, my day to day lately, I really just been going to to studios like like every day. Like, so really now, I just I just I be trying to put my my life on some type of schedule and stuff. So you know, I go to the studio every day from like eight to twelve. I might go longer than that, depends on the vibe. But then um, I take the weekends off. You know regroup, you know, try to do some things to get some more inspiration, then, you know, go back in the studio, you know, you know, sometimes I'll be in there recording, sometimes I'll be in there making beats, sometimes i be in there just listening to stuff, you know, but I just try to be in there as much as possible, you know? Yeah, most definitely. It sounds like that's your sanctuary and the recalibration periods are always a plus. I'm learning that now, whether you need to take a day, two days, a week, just kind of get your mind right again so you stay fresh when it comes to something creative. Yes, yeah, for me it's different now though. You know, like um, back in the day it was just all work, grind, grind, grind mode. But now I'm older, I got a lot more things going on and stuff. So it's it's like you know you kind of gotta you you for sure always gonna need like a reset date. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, not nah, straight like that. Um, so on a note at the studio, your new project, Mr. Digital, set to arrive this summer. Uh, let's get into that a little bit. I'm super excited. I'm smiling and shit. But uh, yeah, if you had to make a verbal trailer for it, uh, what would you say? Like, what can fans expect? Um. All right. So this is what fans can expect. I'm gonna be so transparent, like on this on this project, though. You know, talk about like, you know, a lot of people think they 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 thought that I slowed down, you know, just because you know they stopped hearing the music so much. You know what I'm saying? Or just uh, like how they used to hear my beats all the time and stuff. They don't understand they was hearing it a lot. Like they was they was hearing it a lot, mm -hmm. but I was doing so much work though, you know what I'm saying? So they they was kind of um, spoiled with hearing my stuff for a minute though and they understand that like, you know, a lot of people only come with one hit a year or just one hit and they out of here. You know what I'm saying? I was kind of stretched out. Like my first three, four, five years, I was in here just giving y'all just so much, so much. Then, you know, after that, it's kind of like, um, you know, I just start kind of like, baby feeding the, the shit out, you know what I'm saying? Start focusing on what I want to do some more. And then also, you know, um, a lot of people, they be asking like where I went. I mean, I ain't, I ain't go nowhere. It's just like, I just kind of shift the focus. You know what I'm saying? Like I kind of, um, you know, what I want to do with this project though. At first I was going, first the project was just like on some fun shit though. You know what I'm saying? But I'm like, I feel like this like me coming out again. And I feel like people want to know certain things, you know? and um, I just want to be transparent about everything, you know what I'm saying? Everything that's going on that that's kind of like that people don't see, but it also, but it does affect the music, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And so like, just, I'm going to talk, just talk about everything, things that people don't know, like, um, you know, like situations with my baby mama and my child and stuff. People, a lot of people don't even know I got a kid. Some people know if you pay attention, but, mm -hmm. um, it's just a transparent situation though. Anything, any questions that people had, you know, cause I am, I'm not gonna lie, I'm kind of already like an open book, you know, like, like this is almost like the most private I've been in the last couple of years and me being private and holding back stuff, it kind of led people to think that I was stopping working or just slowing down anything, which wasn't the case at all though. Like I was still putting out shit though. You know what I'm saying? I was putting out records and stuff, um, well, producing records for people. Sure. And, uh, you know, it just, I don't know. You know, I was just, I just, Put the focus somewhere else you know what i'm saying yeah yeah that sounds fire and i come into boldness too like how did you get comfortable with that like you just having a big platform knowing how people are always got something to say like was there ever any hesitancy when it came to being more transparent about you know your real life and the actual person behind the beats um you know at first i mean don't nobody want to tell their business you know what i'm saying nobody want to tell their yeah. business when they're going through it and shit though you know what i'm saying yeah. Like when you're going through it, you can't, I mean, like I said, until you figure it out, you don't want to tell nobody and stuff, or you don't, you don't want to let nobody in, or at least that's the type of person I am though. Like, I don't really like express anything until I figure it out, you know what I'm saying? And a lot of the stuff I'm talking about now, we at the the end point, or we done figured it out, you know what I'm saying? So it's, it's something that I can, I got, I, I got it. It's an end to it though, you know what I'm saying? 
you know, if it's something that's happening in real time, I can't really like, you know, like end the song or end something about it though, cause it's still going on, you know what I'm saying? So there's no end to it right then. So, you know, I don't know. It just, it's not hard though. It's not hard. Cause like I said, I've always been an open book though. What was hard for me to do was to kind of keep this shit private though. You know what I'm saying? Mm. That was so hard. So, you know, cause I was such a person too. I just be talking about things through music and stuff. So, you know, for me not to be able to do it, I don't do it though. And talk about other things that's really not relevant to what's really going on in my life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. That shit was hard, but shit. Now, now I feel like, like I said, I feel like it's like I'm coming back out again and stuff. And so it's like, you know, um, I just want to come out with some substance and let people know what's going on. And just, I ain't gonna say leave them in the dark, but just kind of like put people down on what's going on. You know what I'm saying? That's it. I just want people to just know, you know? No, absolutely. That's super real. Um, SSG Kobe, he's on your first single. Guess what? Uh, fire as expected um but yeah how did y'all how did y'all connect he's he's on the rise right now coming out of louisiana just really doing his thing yeah. melodies the rap in multifaceted so yeah how did y'all connect um kobe had hit me up a minute ago on, on my own on the gram and shit though he was young as hell when he hit me he might have been like 16 or some shit like that right yeah. um yeah he might he was still in school and I was kind of confused to be for real. I'm like, but he was popping still though. But I was like, I don't really, I ain't know him at the time. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I don't know. I just, I just, I just kind of appreciated him just reaching out though. I was like, yeah, we'll, we'll get the work though. You know what I'm saying? Which, which I wasn't lying, but I'm like, we'll get the work though. But I mean, to me, at the time, I'm like, you, you a kid, you a child though. So regardless if you popping or not though, I would rather wait till you get like a little older. You know what I'm saying? To where you don't really need no adult supervision and shit though. You know what I'm saying? You can do what you want and. So um, I had, we had that, that was like a couple of years ago. Then fast forward to now, um, we had been like just talking like a little bit like via DM and stuff every now and then. But um, my my, um, my guy told me, he was like, bro, you should get somebody young on this record and stuff. And I'm like, dang, who? And he just said Kobe name. And I'm like, oh, dang, that's the homie right there. I can just hit him up right now. Mm -hmm. I then with him and uh, she asked me if he'll do it. And nigga came to Atlanta and did the shit. <laughs> Oh, okay, 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 yeah, yeah. But yeah, he, he that's like that's like for me, that's like my little bro. Like he like little bro, you know what I'm saying? Like like when he comes to Atlanta, he he be with me now. You know what I'm saying? I got the studio for him and shit though. He, he said him him and all his homies and shit though. You know, like that's my homies and shit though. You know? Yeah, you know he's gotta appreciate that. No way. For sure. Um, on this on this effort, are you rapping at all? Are you producing and like outsourcing for the artists? Like, is it a combination of everything? On the project, yeah, man, the project is a combination of everything. I'm bringing in anything that I like. You know what I'm saying? I'm I'm trying my thing. I'm trying to produce more of it though, for the okay. sake of business and everything. You know what I'm saying? But I'm not aiming to produce everything or no, aiming to do everything myself though. Like I think niggas is off that shit. Like. You know what I'm saying? Like, and then on top of that too, I don't, man, shit, that's a lot of work. I'd rather just grab ideas from everybody, put it together, you know what I'm saying? And make a fire song, you know what I'm saying? Everybody do a little contribution to it. So I'm I'm working with everybody. I'm trying to like pull in, you know, all the homies that I know that's, that's my people that do music, you know? And, you know, I'm, like I said, it's an open book with this shit. And like yesterday I had all these people in the studio cooking up, you know what I'm saying? And we just going through our deals, making shit and, you know, Oh, playing A and R too. Um, and I was gonna ask, like, is there any in terms of like collaborators for Mr. Digital, anybody that you could share, whether it's producers, artists? Mm. So I'm gonna be honest with you. Like I said, I had already had this project done before, but when 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 I just recently did the designer with Generation Now, I feel like it was like a like I was re coming out again and shit. Though you know what I'm saying? I feel like the standards were set, the bar was set back high. On some like okay. Make sure this shit fine when you come out, cause like I wasn't, I wasn't about to be transparent on this project at first. It was just a fun project, just something to put something out. But yeah. since I feel like the bar's been set higher, though, I'm kind of revamping and redoing the project though. So like right now, I'm not gonna say I'm at the beginning though, cause I'm still using certain records and stuff. But I'm kind of like going in with an ideal now, with some with some substance and what I want to do and what I want to talk about. So you know what I'm saying. So um, as far as like collaborate collaborators and stuff right now, um. I start with producers first. So I get all the producers in the room first. We cook up and shit though. So like I said, for instance, like last night I had C Note and um this other kid in there I just had met named J, J Black. 
we was in there cooking up, just making beats. I was recording vocals. I passed the mic to see no having to record some vocals or whatever. You know what I'm saying? As we making a beat, just kind of like just, you know, but I'm just calling that anybody that'll pull up. You know what I'm saying? That I fuck with though. You know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going for like the major features. I'm just trying to get the records to where they need to be at though, you know. Mm -hmm. no, absolutely. And you spoke on you coming out again with the generation now signing. Um, super fire move. Like I was really excited about that. I think the fans felt the same way. Um, and this is gonna be your first project under that umbrella. Um, so what's the story behind you? You linking a deal, you obviously were with Atlantic, uh, DJ Drama, Don Cannon, what they do in the game is is inevitable. But how did you how did you get to that point? Like what made you say, all right, this is the next step I want to take in my career with Generation Now? I mean, um, I'm not gonna lie, I slick, I, I've always slick kind of just been around them niggas though, like from when they first <laughs> going in, in Atlanta. Yeah. Even before when they opened up the, the main streets in Atlanta, I, I always Cannon was the nigga like when when we when I first got my first hit, and he was the nigga that that, that we can call and he it was like some real non biased fucking opinion about something though you know what I'm saying like a transparent clean cut opinion no no type of game from it though and you know that's years ago and it was like nigga ain't have to do that shit though you know what I'm saying and the nigga I want to sign to him though you know what I'm saying. And like he just kind of like you know it was, that was just a nigga we can look to to get real answers and shit though. And we know he ain't gonna give us no bullshit though. So we had that type of respect for him already. Then on top of that too, he made beats. He'll sit in the room, and cook up beats and shit though. So it was like, dang, this is even more whatever though. So you know, like me and Don, we always been cool through that. And um, me, me and Drama and Lake, we got cool like like later on though. With me and me and Cannon, we just you know we just connected more because we um make beats and shit basically you know what i'm saying but and he just always just he was in the community he was in the producer community just helping out just pushing it forward though you know what i'm saying but i don't know like i said i had always just been with them though too like just like when uzi first went over there shit i was i was right there with them same with jack yeah. same betty everybody you know what i'm saying like I, I, up until me getting with them i was almost like a generation now cousin yeah you know? I, I matter of fact i had a room at their studio like um at like, Built the room, me and Metro, and um, and they run their studio. Oh, that's fire as hell. So like, I was slick already there type shit. So I, it always felt like home. Like I could always go pull up over there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, with the family. That's what's up. Now, now we get to make some money together. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. We are we are always make money because all the records I did with Uzi and Jack and stuff. I'm saying, I mean, we already know what the what the brand is hitting for. So it's dope to see you add to that, and obviously, yeah. Your lineage of just hits, you know what I'm saying, and talent and stuff is really dope to see that connection. Yeah, I'm just happy to have like you know just look like a good cosign. A lot, you know, I like like for the last couple of years I was with Atlantic, but I'm with them by myself. I was with them by myself, but you know, um, with them coming in, you know, it's just kind of just I ain't gonna say it make it easier, but you know, it just kind of make it easy for people to accept. Absolutely, absolutely. I was doing some some research prior to this interview, um, and you were talking about just kind of wanting to dive in a in a more like rapper lane um, and just like continue to introduce that part of yourself to the world. So I wanted to ask, like, is there anybody when it comes to being just as skilled on the mic um, as it is like being skilled on the boards, is there anybody that kind of set that, set that pace for you, even if it wasn't an exact influence, like somebody that kind of showed you it's possible to thrive in both lanes? Mm. I mean, so it's really only one person that was fighting that battle, like you know, and we seen it like firsthand. It was Kanye, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And so that's that's like, I mean, I'm pretty sure it was other niggas doing it too. You know what I'm saying? So like, let me, for instance, let me put it like Pharrell. Pharrell was doing it, but not at the at the way like like Kanye was trying to do it though. You know what I'm saying? Kanye was like, bro, I don't want to be like a producer that does hooks. All right, you. Know, and just partially hop on the record and shit though. He like, I want the whole record and shit. I want to front to back, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That ain't what for real do, but you know, but he, he, you know, he, he not a hundred percent rapper. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But when you think for real, you don't think of for real like, oh, he's a rapper. You be like, you, if you think of for real, you be like, oh, he's just an artist and stuff. He, he does everything though. When you think of Kanye, I feel like the first thing you're going to think of is 
not I'm well rapper for me though, you know what I'm saying? But you know, our producer rapper for me, but like I, but for the regular person, even talking to people now, a lot of people didn't even know Kanye made beats, bro. Crazy. A lot of people when I be talking to a lot of people didn't know Kanye West made beats, bro. Oh, that's insane. He ain't got no tag, you know what I'm saying? It's yeah, yeah. It's just equivalent, it's equivalent to like right now, i am put my tag on something, niggas act like I ain't doing shit. Yeah. They don't if it ain't in their face, they ain't going to look for it either. You know what I'm saying? So ain't nobody going to read the credits. A nigga like me gonna read the credits because I, I need to figure out who made these beats that I like. Yeah. I <laughs> so. You know, but the person who just a listener, oh man, it just stopped, it just stopped when that song, when that song stopped, it's over. Yeah. Get all the information in that three minutes, they ain't going to search for nothing. You ain't talking about <laughs> that's a fact. So like like I said, Kanye was like for me somebody who I knew what I wanted to do, but he was the first one that kind of like visualized it for me to see though, like what to like like what's going how how this shit go, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And that's that's from way back when when he did the college dropout. Like, you know like I just seen this documentary he dropped. I, I haven't even watched the whole thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Huh? I said I was gonna say what you think about it from what you saw. It's fire, but I mean I already, bro. If you if you I, I I'm a real yay fan though, like on the music tip though, you know what I'm saying? Because, you know, we was, I feel like he, I, that was somebody who I can kind of like go to and listen to the music and be like, okay, you're going through this shit that I'm going through right now. Or he went through this shit, you know what I'm saying? It was kind of like a, a guidebook type shit though, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But most of the shit, when I started watching like the first episode, I feel like I knew everything that was going on. It was just visual at that point though, because all this shit that, that was in, in, these, in, the, um, in the documentary was, everything that he rapped about already on the college dropout. <laughs> just literally like just a visual to it though now, you know what I'm saying? So mm-hmm. um, it's not that I didn't want to watch it though, but I, I was like, damn, I, it was kind of boring watching it though. Cause I already kind of, I already visualized it in my head fucking 10 years ago, what was going on. So all this shit, this shit to me, I was like, oh dang, it's just tight. But I haven't um, watched the whole thing because I already know what's going to happen, man. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that, you know, not that I don't want to see it though, but I'm, I just wasn't in a rush to like, I want to see it like, in a time when I feel like I need to be inspired to something like that though, you know, like yeah. I want to use it for, for something different though, you know. Most definitely. Shout out to Ye, man. Uh what a legendary person. Like people are gonna say what they want, but you just, you know, you just gotta continue to give him his flowers in that way. Like when you look at music, that's the stuff I came up on as well. And it's just crazy, crazy experience to be able to do that decade after decade, constantly reinvent yourself constantly reinvent sounds like it's not an album out that sound like Donda right now so shout out to him it's dope to hear that that brand like trickle down to to the next generation of legends and stuff too no for sure I don't know it that's also interesting I never I, I mean I knew it but I never really like internalized it he never had a producer tag like you said yours though you hear that you already know what's gonna follow which is some fire some gas um what's the story on how your producer tag came together um shit um, my boy Jay Neutron, he was making tags at the time. We still make tags today. Um, and I just hit him up. I hit him up. I like, bro, I need a tag, bro. I had I had done the tag. I had done my own tag before. Like, I feel like every producer do that. They first tag, they do it themselves. Yeah. You know? <laughs> Mine was just like, it's just a sunny digital or something like that. I just said it like that, right? Uh-huh. Then I like, man, this shit sound whack. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I like. But I ain't have none, so I was using it until I until I got the buddy and shit though. So I hit him up and um and I asked him if he do my tag. He said, hell yeah, did that shit. Charged me twenty dollars for that motherfucker. Oh and man, that's it? yeah. The first time he sent it back, that motherfucker said Sony Digital. I feel like that shit cursed my career. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> I think his name is Sony and shit though. But but I told him, I hit him back and said, brother, my name's Sunny, like Sunny, like the sun. So he sent back the, the he sent back another one that yeah. said the right right one which which I hear today and stuff though but right. yeah that shit is crazy though that's where it came from though but um he's still cool that's the homie and shit though I still I still rock with him too today yeah real talk I hear that um so I know you're correct me if I'm wrong but uh in terms of like production you're influenced by what you said in the past Shardy Red and Drummer Boy mm-hmm. word so um I was reading something again correct me if I'm wrong um, but it was saying like when you first started making beats, uh, you kind of gravitated to their sound. So at what moment would you say you found your own? Like obviously it's been more than 10 years. At what point did you kind of kind of find yourself in that lane and get comfortable with what you was able to create? 
don't know. You know, I was kind of winning with the inspiration behind, like, I just like these type of beats. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, to me, like, I don't know. I, I just like those type of beats. So I was kind of winning with those type of vibes, though. So I can't say I, I, I created my own sound necessarily. Like, I don't, I'm not even going to say that I don't feel like I created a sound, though. But, like, everything, my, all my sounds is derived from that, that sound. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. so, I don't know, like. It's just, I don't know shit. My, my shit come from that shit though, you know. I don't think I, I, me personally, like I said, I don't think I know. I ain't got no sound. I ain't got no sound to be for real. Cause I, if I took my tag off every beat, nobody would be able to pinpoint a any digital beat. I didn't did that, man. Shit, lot, lot of project that just dropped, dropped. I did the first song on her project. That's a question. I know, yeah, for sure. And ain't, ain't no tag on. Yeah. Yup. Yeah, that's a fact. Um, she was. She was talking, so I just talked to her a couple months ago and I was like, yo, what, when it comes to the creative process for this, like what producers were you working with? Who are you really excited about? And you was the first person that she named. Um, am I tweaking? You got 777 tattered on your face? Yeah, but I had this for years though. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I figure, I, I figure, but interesting. Obviously her album is named after that. Um, and you just, she's an example of you continuing to, to push the bar, you know what I'm saying? Obviously the Atlanta scene is huge right now. You've worked with so many different artists and you still do to this day. So I was gonna ask like, who else artist wise is having, having motion in your eyes right now? Like who you've been peeping, who are you a fan of, if anybody? Um, my boy c CEO okay. Trail. Put me on, where's he from, you knew? You don't know CEO Trail? Nah, oh CEO Trail, okay, okay, okay. All right, where, 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 all right, where, I'm with you. Yeah, that's my boy right there. I've been rocking with him for surprisingly, man. I don't know how I'd be the first to everything though, but I've been knowing him since like almost like 10 years, bro. Sheesh. I've been knowing him. Oh yeah, kind of like before, before right now, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. He doing this thing, he going, he going crazy right now. Like going up, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, that's what I'm fucking with right now. I got a couple other people though, but um, I just gotta think off the top of my head though, like who it is though. But I just know I was just watching some of CFO shit earlier on. Like I like him. Yeah, yeah. Well, for those watching this who don't know, go ahead and tap in. That's that's all the signs y'all need. Um, is there anybody else that you haven't worked with in the past that you would love to in the future? Jay Z. Hmm. Legendary that's shit. Yeah, yeah, I don't even I wanna just produce some shit for him, like just you know. Yeah. I go shit like crazy. You said what? I said I go crazy on some shit with Jay Z for real. Yeah. Oh, that shit would hit. Culture need that. Yeah. For sure. Um, another person on the note of just rising artists you've been able to lock in with and make some absolute magic alongside Don Tolliver. Um, crazy, like one of the games, premier melodist, uh, works really, really well with your beats and stuff. Uh, so I wanted to ask, like, what do those studio sessions look like? Because I think a lot of people would say you end up having like some of the hottest songs on his project. So yeah, what is what do those studio sessions look like? What is y'all chemistry like? Uh, <laughs> that should be lit, bro. It depends on the setting. Yeah. <laughs> the setting. That's all I like it really say. The setting depends on what we about to do. But okay. Okay. You know what I'm saying? We was out there for like three weeks. This shit be fun. My boy got he he high energy, especially yeah. when he stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, shit always fun though. That nigga talented in the motherfucker, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. But the, that voice, man, he just he blessed, man. I, I, man, I'm just gonna. I don't know. I'm like, dang, maybe I might be looking up. Cause I'm like, man, this nigga sound good on anything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anybody beat, man. I'm like, shit, you might just really fuck with me, man, cause he. He gonna hop on these same digital beats for sure. You know what I'm saying? But I mean, that's my dog right there though. Like we, we rock with each other even outside of the music though. Like, you know, he just is cool, humble, just, I don't know, he's just a homie. Like, you know, and damn, it started started his his career, his his professional career, I wanna say, or like when people starting to get to know him. Shit, we started that together. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and so like, no, it's just, I don't know, it's just different though. We don't, I don't know, it's just cool as shit, man. It's yeah. cool that like, you won't even be able to tell that a nigga, a nigga ain't changed one bit. I was like, damn, my boy, if anything, the nigga got more regular and <laughs> we got both famous. 
That's when they say. <laughs> Word. The best bond, bro. I feel you. Uh, I got like a few more questions. That's cool. Mm -hmm. For sure. Um, so you helped usher in the 2017 uh, XXL freshman class. Cardi was undercover, PNB Rock, A Boogie, XXX Tentacion. Um, same thing in 2018, Ski Mask, GID, Trippy Red. I mean, the list goes on. Uh, so yeah, what are your thoughts on how how those classes age? Like, who has it been cool to see like really rise and elevate since that shoot? Those shoots. Man, that nigga Cardi. <laughs> Cardi will do that, bro. I ain't gonna lie, man. He, got, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> he really has started a whole wave type shit, though. You know what I'm saying? Cardi got a chokehold on it all. A hey, Boogie did very well. Um, yes. I got to look and see who I was on there, though. But both of the classes were pretty good, though. If you can name some people, I, I, I can tell you what I think about them. How, 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 well, how I think they went. Yeah. But, nah, for sure. Um, people, though. I just, I just know. I know the one, a couple of ones went, though. But for sure, Cardi. Mm -hmm. but, but, Out know, of there. Yeah, you, you see what that's doing. But like you said, though, like a hey, boogie went crazy. You know what I'm saying? He had whether people want to give him his flowers or not. Like, well, I feel like you got to like what he did in New York, what he did with the melodies. You know what I'm saying? Him and PNB, even down to like Trippy Red. You know what I'm saying? Just yeah. that whole. PNB was on it too, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, he's still going up. That, that my bro too. Facts. Yeah, y'all got some fire for sure. Yeah, we just be kicking him. My boy, you pulling up on me all the time, bro. You know, he'd be out here in Atlanta. Real talk. Um, off that note, so you just obviously having such a successful career, uh, working your way up, constantly reinventing the wheel. Um, what advice would you give to to rising producers who want to establish a legacy um, similar to the one that you you have and are creating? I'm gonna give you some new age advice. I feel, but it's still like old old advice though. But it, it'll it'll work right now. It'll work. Man, this shit is just about consistency, my boy. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just kind of how much you putting out shit and at, at what rate. I feel like, you know what I'm saying? Like, these people don't even live with the music for three weeks, if it's, even if it's great. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. man, listen, that first 48 hours in, it's like, what well, the next shit that are some new shit dropping tomorrow that's got down, diverting their attention. You know what I'm saying? No matter how good the shit is, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just so much shit dropping, though. So I feel like, me personally, I feel like it's, each song and each each album has like um like X amount of time to be fresh, just like food. You know what I'm saying? Until you to, until you got to go get some more shit though. You know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. I feel like you know stay intact with the music, make good music. Don't ever like you know lower your standards of music and shit though to to keep up what's going on though. But just know that. People are listening, but they're not tuned in. You know what I'm saying? Because it's something coming out new for them to listen to tomorrow. So it'd be like, man, just one way or another, just stay on the radar with guys. If, if it is music, you know what I'm saying? Just stay dropping it. But if you're not doing it more music, just stay in their face. Like, make sure you being seen. Make sure you're out doing things, you know, um, build your brand. You know what I'm saying? So you ain't got to rely on music the whole time. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm -hmm. Go do fucking brand partnerships with people and go get money that way. You know what I'm saying? Get paid for putting on clothes and shit that, that you was already gonna put on and shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's all type of ways though, but you know. Oh uh, yeah. Now you preaching. And that's that's interesting about the game too. Like when you obviously have seen the the evolution of it all. Like when Rax came out over 10 years ago, I remember watching that shit as a kid on like 106 and Park, where today I probably would have found it on Twitter or something. So the game is completely completely different like that shit is crazy yo i started at the butt end like right before it started changing this shit though like like that was the that was the record that kind of feel like started to change everything though that was like the last record but no between that and same downtown was like the last records that was actually being counted like by record so not streams you know what i'm saying oh yeah yeah so, you know everything had to actually sell. You know, like same same damn time that actual song never went like gold or platinum. What? It's a it's a few of those like just just diamond in the culture. But yeah, it just it, I mean because it never it never it that song specifically never came out as a single like commercially. Uh -huh. It came 
album though, but it never came out commercially, like as a single though, like at yeah. the time. So um, it never like it never got its own certification and shit though. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Certified by being on the album though, but like you know, it, that shit was like a street single type shit though. But it just yeah. I don't know. It never really like it came out, but it never like really like it didn't come out how it was supposed to. Man. Got you. Yeah. You know what that- what I'm well, it hit regardless. It, it reached the people it needed to reach for sure. And yeah. that's dope too. You just being a part of that journey of future. Like I'm from Atlanta, so you already know he's been making music for a while. That's when he really started to crack the mainstream. So and a lot of people, I mean, you know how that goes. Like sometimes they started to recognize him around the DS2 era, like 2015, 2016. But it's like, nah, people been been uh debating the 2010s Mount Rushmore. Future belong on that. His whole decade was crazy and you just being a part of that really really early is super dope as well and you for sure you for sure deserves to be on that, that 2010 on up Mount Rushmore for Atlanta yeah. you did a lot for sure yeah ain't no rewriting that um yo Sonny that was that was all I had for you uh anything else you want to add you want to say to the people uh anything you want to talk about in terms of Mr. Digital um no I think we good for sure all right, man. Well, hey, I appreciate you for taking the time. Uh, Mr. Digital, coming this summer, right? Yes, this summer. Yes, sir. Looking forward to that. You already know we're going to be covering. Done, man. You said what? It's just going to come when it's done. Yeah, yeah. Right. You can't rush greatness. Cliche, but true shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. so, it's dropping up. I appreciate it, though, bro. For sure. Now, nah, I appreciate you for taking the time. Be easy.